Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Focus Corner, the biggest gob in sport. Hmm. Can I give a big, big shout out to Spartan Demolition? I'll be well. We'll give them a shout out as well next door. South Yorkshire Autos, owned by Ash the Flash, the uh, business partner to uh, Easy Ahmed, is it? The boxing promoter of Sheffield Kid, who's uh, a thorn in Big Ron's side. <laughs> Big Ron having sleepless nights about Izzy. Go on, Izzy, lad. It's all good stuff, isn't that right? Ron! Right. Billy Joe Saunders. Is he coming back? Uh, are we bothered? I'm not too bothered, to be honest. Is he a multi skilled fighter? Oh, yeah. Olympian. Ooh, Olympian. British Commonwealth. I think you won area. And then British Commonwealth, European and uh, world champion. World champion for about five years, something like that. Uh, and then he won a, a, another weight, didn't he? Uh, won about a two-weight world champion. WBO and... Very, very carefully matched. A bit like Tyson Fury. Very, very, very carefully matched. Chris Eubank, very limited fighter. Took him to a split decision loss or something really close, wasn't it? A really, really close fight, wasn't it? Uh, there were no in it. Uh, very, very close. Probably a round in it. Uh, we all saw what happened against David Lemieux. He just stood him on his head, Billy, didn't he? He beat John Ryder on way up. <gasps> God, shattered. Cats look what you've done it. Running in the morning and wakes on an evening. Up. She catches up. Who'd be, who'd be a professional boxer like some of these? You'd have to... Listen, this is why they can't do it when they get in the 30s. I'm in my mid-50s. So, I've got to do a bit of it up. But, uh, like I said, I want like to think I were a professional boxer training every day. Or... Billy Joe, is he going to come back? I don't think he will. No. What, what, what is it to prove? He's won everything. He's a millionaire. He'd only be coming back for money. You know... John Ryder would be a massive favourite in that fight. He's more active. Uh, he'd be a big favourite in that fight. And Billy wouldn't have the advantage going up, up against an orthodox fight because Billy's a southpaw. I think John Ryder's a southpaw as well, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I need to get to bed, don't I? Uh, so what can Billy do if he comes back? Is it for money? Is it to win another world title? What weight would he even fight off? Ozzy Smith said to me, have you seen Billy Joe Saunders on that photo, Porky? I went, no, show me it, show me it. He had a big beard and a white fleece jacket on. He was in some bozo with his mates. Ozzy Smith said to me, he looks like a snowman. <laughs> Oh, Billy, Billy, what have you done to yourself, lad? What have you done? What have you done to yourself? I can't believe it. You've ended up like you've ended up. You know, and everybody wanted to sign Billy, didn't they? They were all breaking the necks to sign him. All them lads that went to Olympics in 2008, everybody wanted to sign them. What a crop they were. Dennis bought every single one of the Olympic team a tag watch. Hmm. Tag watch on an aeroplane, I think, or an airport. And give them all on the plane. That's a true story, that. He bought them all a watch. Or bought them on plane and give them, I forget how it were, but it's on my channel, he mentioned it. And none of them signed with Dennis. <laughs> that were a roll of the dice, wasn't it? Brick Top were the guy then, though, wasn't it? They all wanted to be with Brick Top. And it looks like that's where they all want to be now, isn't it? Oh, 
I don't see Billy Joe coming back at all. If he does, I think he'd embarrass himself. I think he'd just fumble his way through fights. It'd just be just for to get money. And I think if you're coming back for money, you're coming back for all the wrong reasons. Uh, that's what I think. Nobody's saying he ain't a great fighter, but the glass is always half full, isn't it? You know, when you look at somebody like Billy Joe, I always think, could have, well, he could have. He was already a world, he's been a world champion, two weight world champion, British Commonwealth, European champion, and two weight world champion. So he's done everything on his beating Olympics, but I just think he could have, he could have gone to another level. He went Frankie Gavin. But inability to stay in shape all year round, done them in. This is why all you fighters out there, you should always tick over in the gym. Always be ready and always try and keep yourself in good shape. Like me. Not a penny drop, it didn't drop for years, did it? I only want to get fit when I'm in Nick, because there's nothing else to do when I'm out at Nick. You know, I'm not, not bothered, but it's an all it's a lifestyle choice, isn't it? Or something like me is anyway now. But do I want to see Billy come back? No, because I think he'd embarrass him himself. And I think after that Canelo fight, he wouldn't do an interview because he was shameful. He, Billy, you were ashamed of that performance. You stuck it to the bar saying he's a quitter and you quit. If you didn't quit, show us them x rays. Show us, show us that. I don't believe the story about the eye, I don't believe it. One bit, I don't believe it. I've, I've seen a lot worse, and I don't believe that it would not. I don't, I just don't believe it, but hey ho. So, all right, so okie dokie. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. All right, I'm burnt out on this one. We've got to keep pushing on. Because we must fight Mr. Tooth Decay. So keep cleaning your teeth and don't forget to rinse your mouth out. Or you with dirty mouths and brown tongues. Rinse your mouth out. If you can't afford TCP or Listerine, hot kettle water and then salt, sea salt if you can afford that. If you're poor, get table salt. Just pour it all in as much as you can. Rinse your mouth out. And while, while you're rinsing your mouth out, killing all the crumbs, but if you've got any ulcers, it'll find them and attack them. And salt water works quicker than anything you can buy from a chemist. Proven. If you don't believe me, Google it. Or go watch uh, Planet Earth with David Attenborough. You know, all them white sharks and any shark that's in the sea. You don't see them with tooth decay, do you? Pop, pop, bang. Don't forget to clean them. Peace out.